Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with another figure unboxing and review. And, to get out of the way first, um, Happy New Year's. This is actually New Year's Eve when I'm recording this. There's going to be some fireworks in the background. I apologize for that, but I mean, I can't really do much about it. But, I have to get this video in because this is going to be the last review for 2021. And wow, this is going to be one to hang off on. So, Nothing more to it than to get on right on into it. And as the title suggests, it's going to be the 1991 uh, Godzilla from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah Fight of Abarishi a Godzilla Store Exclusive. And I'm not wasting any time here. If you're subbed, if you're not subbed, let's get on into it because this is definitely something I have been looking forward to since the announcement of when it's been. I can't, you probably can't really see it too well, but there's actually a Godzilla store sticker from the box there. Uh, if you're asking, Matt, how did you get this? Um, I purchased from Awesome Collector the very first run they had. And that had me stay up till 10 a.m. Because I can't really wake up that early and like be ready to go. So I took the hit and I stayed up till 10 a.m. to order this guy. And I think it was so worth it, even though I haven't even gotten through it. But that does not matter anymore. Awesome collector. I, I feel like I had to say that again, but it looks like we got some padding and then it looks like this is the disc itself. Uh, this version of the figure came with a disc, ah yes, by master sculptor Yuji Sakai. And here, here it is, here is that disc. It's pretty much just like a, I guess like, a, I don't really know how to describe it. As you see the Godzilla uh, Live, or Godzilla, Godzilla 2020 online, it was kind of like where they showed a uh, clip it of uh, Mr. Sakai kind of like going through the figure. He's done tons of tons of figures, but this disc here is kind of like a bonus disc, if you will, and it kind of just shows you how he did this 1991 figure. So very grateful for that. Uh, I don't know if it's region, it's probably region locked, so I'm sure I probably won't be able to watch it. It's still sealed, as you can see here, but that's no issue to me. I'm going to go ahead and give it a watch, maybe, to see if I can, um, you know, kind of see the magic he does with these figures. And as you notice, my hair is kind of uh, put up today because I don't want to fool around with this video. This is definitely something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So none other. Here is our X Plus box, the 1991 Godzilla, Godzilla Store Exclusive. And yeah, Yuji uh, Sakai Modeling Collection and the GF stands for Godzilla Store. And then it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna keep on venturing through it. I want you guys to get the first look on this one. I don't know. Okay, so there's another box or we'll get, there's this box here. And then there's like a, another little like slab of a box. We're gonna go there, and then um, I'm gonna take off the sheet here, and one, two, three. So, boom, I hope it looks pretty. Oh, wrong way, such a fool. But boom, there he is. The 30 centimeter Godzilla 1991 Fight of Abarishi Godzilla Store Exclusive. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's, let's keep going. No stops, no jump cuts as of right now. We're just gonna go on like a classic math video. Oh, okay, sorry. Bed is being a support, but look at this right here. Very nice artwork on the box. We've got the dynamic pose uh, three times on the box itself. As you see here, Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, Godzilla. I think that's X plus garage toys. And then just kind of like the, uh, the title there. I would get closer, but I would have to flip it around. So if y'all wanna see something like that, maybe. As close as you can get, you see there. Excellent, excellent stuff. And so as your standard X plus box, that's kind of just the cover. And then we've kind of got like a safety hazard stuff on there as well. All right, let's, let's keep going. We got our handy knife here. We're just gonna slit that. And then we're gonna slit the bottom. So we're gonna keep this cover nice and intact. Hopefully the tape doesn't come off when I try to take it off. And, oh man, it's been a while since I've opened up an X plus. Um, yeah, we've got these on the side. 
been since July, August with the Rodan 2019. Very cool. And so they've made three different versions of this figure. There's uh, the standard release, which is just, you know, Godzilla in the dynamic pose. There's the Rick exclusive, which is the one that lights up with the dorsal plates. And then there is this one, which is the painted uh, atomic breath charge up, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it there. Are we seeing it? All right, plastic covered by the glare there. But um, boom. We're gonna keep going. Oh, it's, I, I'm so stupid. I forgot. I'm gonna have to uh, hair dry the tail on. I completely forgot, but that's our actual box there. But here he is in his plastic casing. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep going. But yes, like I was saying, um, the three, the standard distribution, the Rick exclusive, which is the light up dorsal plate, and then obviously this one, which was the Godzilla store exclusive. Um, although I will say this one was hard to get. I think the hardest one to get is probably the Rick one now, because not even Awesome Collector uh, was able to fulfill their Rick orders compared to, you know, they had uh, maybe like two or three ways of these, but they're just like super short, right? So you had to be on the money to get them. And did this guy cost a lot? A little bit. Um, but that's kind of the price you have to pay for something of this caliber. So there's that. I missed two, but it's all right. Oh, I'm going to set this here for y'all. I hope he doesn't fall out. He's going to fall out. No, he's good. He's good. And then we've kind of got like a tail assembly piece of paper here. And so I'm going to pull them back. I'm going to bring out the body first. Mmm, that fresh vinyl smell. Thank you, Richie, so for the, uh, the gags. Mmm, but oh my goodness. Uh, I can't, I can't let myself have all the glory here. Here we are, guys. This is him. As you see, nicely, nicely painted with such a, a very great sculpt. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm kind of going off here, but this was probably the figure that I was looking forward to the most um this whole year ever since they kind of revealed it last year in 2020 and i'd love to get some like real good close-ups of it but unfortunately my camera is like i would have to physically pick it up and i'm sure i'm not good at that so we're getting uh, a good nice look at him here right this is what this is what we're getting and obviously we have this tail piece here um not too long but um very nice right hollow if you will it's kind of like rough at the bottom of it as well and then the actual dorsal plates go on and on you know your heisei design so wow 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 all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy assembled this is gonna be a jump cut here but uh just give me one moment guys i will be with you very shortly Alrighty, and we are back and as you can see we have the tail fully assembled use the old higher dryer method you know just heat them up and then just kind of squeeze them in and then once it's done just kind of let it cool off so we can sit nice and tight and so boom well i let y'all guys get a look at that there i went ahead and opened up the dvd which was the uh live stream portion of yuji sakai kind of sculpting uh this mold here and you know i'm sure he's giving commentary i it's just in japanese and i can't understand it it is an international disc, obviously it's a Japanese disc, so luckily I was able to use a different um, DVD player to kind of switch the region code and watch just a little bit of it. I'll watch it in detail eventually, but I just wanted to continue on with this review here. So there is, um, that's just kind of about it for that on the video. And then once you open it up, it also comes up with this little drawing, and I really did try to translate it the best I could. It said something like, please wait for me or something like that. But it's pretty cool, no? A uh, little drawing of Godzilla there. And then they kind of showed off in the video as well. It's actually a postcard, if I'm correct, a Japanese postcard. But um, uh, really cool, right? Just a little little novelty item that I guess just kind of goes a long way for <laughs> just uh, a, a guy like me in the, the States, right? So other than that... I guess I'll give you a good look at the disc here. It's just pretty much that. And then on the other side, it's um, 
you got this. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna focus on the review here. Uh, lastly, so boom. And so, wow, just look at that. The uh, the dorsal plates look really, really nice. The, the pearl white on top mixed in with this like blue. You can see it kind of going down and deeper. The deeper it gets, the, the blue gets uh, darker. And But if you put light on it, I've got the light here. I've got my extra light here just to kind of, you know, showcase everything we're getting here. It just looks awesome. I can't put it better than that. And then there's also some blue paint apps throughout his back here just to kind of give it more of a, you know, uh, the glow sensation. But this is pretty much like what you're uh, you're getting for with this G-Store exclusive. And obviously it didn't come cheaply, but it's definitely something I full force bought. And I was like, I'm getting it. Like this is the one I want out of all three versions, no matter how much, well, not no matter how much, I will try my hardest to get him and so yeah like oh man just just trying to you know get the value out of it and show you all too as well um because you know they always make the rick version of a figure but they don't always make a godzilla store version of a figure so it's really cool to have like the godzilla store one as well but yeah that's the dorsal plates there and i'm just gonna move up to his thighs here um highly detailed right um the video itself live stream from the i think it's called g festival um last year on godzilla's birthday it's pretty much just yuji sakai himself kind of like sculpting out this whole body mold uh adding you know the details which are the rough uh skin and then to the the paint of the uh the dorsal plates there but I know probably not the best comparison since these figures are a little bit bigger than your average six inch scale but if i can take it one step at a time and it looks decent then i think i'm doing well all right you start off there and then you come you come you come and then you come around and i'm gonna flip them up and then boom look at that so yeah this this is it like uh, I know X pluses are kind of like, you know, standstills, but I mean, that's kind of what you're getting. The mouth is excellent. Uh, we're going to close up with the head here. Look at that. I get a side piece of it. Maybe if you want to, I don't know. The tongue is up. As you see, the teeth are very nicely de uh, detailed and painted. And then the eyes as well. The eyes are no, uh, no slack. Uh, dark brownish eyes which is standard heisei and then the pose he is in is i believe when Ghidorah's they first meet Ghidorah flaps his wings i think and then godzilla's kind of like blown aback by it so imagine if we just had a 91 Ghidorah to go with this like that would be mm, that'd be so excellent i wouldn't want to imagine how much it would cost but i mean it would look great if they were both together in you know this type of like pose but yeah um wow i can just keep going i don't want to hold too long but you see the dynamic pose in the arms there the feet are in this you know kind of like winded blown back stance is kind of like what you're getting here there's been two other 1991 uh, x plus figures that have been made um i think the one of them was the landing version in hokkaido i think um i want to say that's the one where he's just kind of looking down and there's another one as well which he's roaring at but um obviously i don't have those because when those came out i was little and i could not afford such a thing but here we are now kind of you know fulfilling that childish wish i had back then so very grateful for that opportunity and um i guess very grateful for the film itself um i know the 91 film can get some slack for its time travel shenanigans and whatnot but it's definitely a film i enjoy but if not um you know there's just something else for you you know but yeah, I think this was definitely a really good purchase to make for probably probably my third favorite suit. So yeah, third I would say third favorite suit. You might be like, Matt, it's not that different from the 1989, which you're not really wrong. Um, if for those wondering what's the difference between the 89 and the 91 suit, it's the upper body. I think they bulked up his chest and then they uh, changed his face a little bit. So that's kind of, you know, the only thing. But I think the rest of the suit itself is kind of the same. I read this from the VFX book of the Godzilla 1991 
um, book itself. So, you know, a uh, fun fact to learn, right? But lastly, I'm not gonna, before the comparisons, let's get one good look at that, right? They look all nice and bright with light emitting. Once you pull it back, they're still bright. It's still very, you know, uh, obvious that there's something going on with this back, but once you add light to it, it just pops out even more. So, wow. Let me get them in a, a good pose where you can kind of see both both ends of it there. But with that, let's go ahead and get started with our comparisons. I only have a couple comparisons just with the 91 here. First, we'll start off with, I guess, the SH Monster. It's 89. Um, kind of the closest thing you can get to it. Um, I don't really think you can do a do a stance like this. It's kind of hard. Oh, and there goes the arm. There. That's maybe as close as we can get, right? But 89 versus the, uh, I'm kind of going to do a disproportionate thing here. 89 suit versus the 91 SH Monster. It's an X plus. And once again, it is New Year's Eve, so I apologize for the fireworks, but I had to get this guy in last for our end of the year, you know, kind of like conclusion to the channel and there will probably be a video uploaded on um new year's itself i'm probably gonna upload one more video after this but i will wait until the next day or maybe i'll just upload it today as well so look forward maybe a double upload last of 2021 all right next up we're gonna do the uh, bandai movie monster series 1991 which also came out this year of 2021 in november so uh, guess a good little year for the 91 film, considering it's it's anniversary for what? 10, 20th, 20th anniversary, 1991 to 2001, or no, 30th anniversary. So 1991 to 2001 to 11 to 21. Yeah, so I guess 30th anniversary, um, but wow. Pretty cool stuff. Very glad that this guy is here. I realize I'm kind of stalling the time a little bit, but um, we're gonna keep going with it. Next, we'll do the SH Monster. It's King or Mecha King Ghidorah. As you can see, he blows him out of scale for being a X Plus compared to an a Monster Arts. But I do believe X Plus is actually making a uh, mo a Mecha King Ghidorah. But oh, uh, yeah, I do believe they are making one. But it's been I think two years a year since we've last heard any development on that and more than likely i will be picking that one up and lastly the only other 30 centimeter godzilla that i have is the legendary 2019 king of the monsters one so this is the rick so he lights up and so huh look at that huh we've come we've come a long way in design 91 versus 2019 so very very cool to uh to get a good comparison and i know these guys are like just absolutely bulking the table up but look at that right deep blue versus this like pearly white um lighter sky blue um oh they're gonna clash look at that we're gonna lift them up and then we're gonna push this guy back forward and yeah that's really going to be it for this video i mean yeah that's about it that's about it proceeds to make a 20 minute video i know i apologize for that but i just had to take my time with him because this was like i keep saying the figure of the year for me so yeah i can't really get too much of a good pose there but there so with that i'm going to end off the video uh, usually I do kind of a news recap, but I'm going to go ahead and save that for the next video so everyone who's watching this just for this figure can kind of, you know, we can all end off together. But uh, once again, whether you are new or old um, on this channel, I really do appreciate everything you've done for me. This past year has been actually really good for my channel, so I'm very grateful for everyone that's, you know, been on board, watching from the shadows. Uh, either way, the support, the support is very, very much appreciated, and I couldn't thank you more enough than I already am. So with this, this will probably be the last video of 2021, and what a figure to send it off on, am I right? We've got some other guys coming in soon, but we'll get to that later. So with that, thank you guys for supporting me out, supporting me through this entire year. I wish you the best in this year, 2022, and appreciate everything that you have done for me. And I will continue to try to uphold my end as well. So with that, 
Happy New Year and thank you so much for watching.